Hey, this is Paul Evans with a quick tutorial on how to use the drag and drop feature within lead pages. It's still in beta at the time of this recording, uh, but they're continually making upgrades. So when you log into your account, if you've got your free template selected, you can also select drag and drop. And when you do that, it's only going to show you the templates that you're able to use the drag and drop in. So there's not a ton but that shouldn't concern you at all because any of these we can actually take and construct something virtually brand new in if we want. So I'm going to use this one because it'll give us sales page template options as well. Most of the time when we're doing a an opt-in page, something along these, these lines, we tend to keep it the same. But one of the challenges in the past has been that we weren't able to do anything but use the template. But now because of the drag and drop builder, we can make any template look just about any way that we want. So we can use the template builder, the standard builder, if we want to keep it as is and just change existing things. If we want to add new things, move things around, then we'll use the drag and drop builder. So let me click that. It's going to ask me what I want to name this page. And I'll just name it demo. And we'll start building. Well, it's unavailable. Wait, it allowed me to say have it anyway. The slug was unavailable, but the name itself was okay. So this is just a standard lead page here. Anything that we want to take out, if I want to take out this upper level, then I just click on the button and I just take it to the trash. Just delete it and let that be it. So in a t standard template, none of this other than the text, you can actually edit too much. You can edit some of the colors, but that's it. You couldn't actually move it around or make changes along those lines. So anywhere that I wanted to move that, if I want to move it over to the left, I could. Makes it look bad, but obviously I could put it there. So anything that you want to take and drag and change, you can do that. Anything that you want to subtract, you can do that as well. So in this area, if I wanted to place a video, then I can just come right in, put my video in where I, I want it to fit. And then I'll just click it and add the embed code. So that's kind of typical of what you're used to. If I want a brand new headline right here, I can drag and drop that in, put my headline in, put my text in. If I want another countdown clock, Right here, I can add that in. So all of these things allow you just to drag and drop exactly where you want it. So it's got your headline, your text. If you want a button that you use to move to the next step or to opt in, countdown clock as we just saw, an image. You know, in the past, you just had to use whatever image value they gave you right there, and that was it. But now you can take it and drag and drop an image in anywhere that you want to. Video as well, line, spacing, HTML code. You couldn't use that in the past, but now you can. If you've got some specialty code that you want to add in, boom, it's done. A form. Also, almost everything within lead pages is just a pop-up, right? You click a button, it pops up, it opts in. Now you can take a form and actually put it in the page if you want to. So that if you wanted people to actually opt in on the page or get other elements on the page to add in, you can do that. Comment, social share, social likes, image plus text. We'll look at that in just a second. Calendar plus text, progress bar. So if we come down to where Clay is, we click Clay's picture. If I want to move that over to the right-hand side, I can do that. And this is text plus the image. When I click on his image itself, move out of that, I click on his image, these options come up, and if I want to change it, I click and grab my images. Those take just a second to load, but any images that I have uploaded before, so I'll grab this one, me as the founder, done, and it's replaced. So all of that is pretty typical that we've seen before, but it allows us to take every single element Add, delete, drag, drop. If I come in and decide, you know what, I want to add in three columns so that I'm able to, to come in and, and add other elements as far as 
you know, I'm doing this with this background. I want to come in and add an image here, an image here, an image here that's clickable to something new or three product images or three text areas. You know, any of the layouts that you use, you then come to the widgets and you can put anything in here that you want. So if I want to drag and drop an image right here, I can. If I want to add a video to the middle portion, I can. And if I wanted to add a form to the final portion, I can. So it's just kind of neat that they're giving us a lot of flexibility to be able to create our own pages our way. Now, what I would suggest, as I always do, is that when you begin with this functionality, do not create a page that you actually want to use. It may end up that way, but just name it like demo something and just play around, drag and dropping it used to the controls first then create the page that you really want. When I'm talking to people who are frustrated with any type of software, it's because out of the gate, they are trying to make it perfect instead of getting in and playing first. So those of you who have lead pages, get in here and play a bit. If you don't have lead pages, go to paulbevans.com forward slash lead pages, and that'll send you right to the site, paulbevans.com forward slash lead pages. As always, success is not an accident. Be blessed.